right? Shalom, shalom. When the Hebrew Israelites here to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, to speak about the upliftment of the Heavenly Father's chosen people, turn so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and the scattering around the earth. All right, so first and foremost, want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the power of the universe. Good lunch to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to Rocky about them pushing this word out with the truth and sincerity, man. All right, we're getting ready to uh, get, get me the um, give me the black horse, brother. Okay, Revelation the sixth chapter, man. We're coming, we're in the time of the black horse, man. All right, and after the black horse is the pale horse, man. I mean, a lot of death is coming to this place, man. Okay. Boy, the book of Revelation, chapter 6, and verse 5. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and, a, and three measures of barley for a penny. Now a penny, is, it, it goes back to a day's wages, man. All right? I believe it was the denarius. You see what I'm saying? So a measure is just enough to sustain a man that basically is, is barely enough to sustain a man of modest uh, 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 eating. Okay, like a guy who's on a diet or something. You see? So they, that a whole day's wage would only get you enough to, to last for the day, in other words. To survive for the day. That's what's getting ready to come. Okay? And then it's going to be even less than that. Go ahead. And see... Thou heard not the oil and the wine. Right, the oil and the wine represents this knowledge, it's true. Okay? But, uh, yeah, keep going. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. Right. And his name that sat on him was death. Well, that's what's coming, man. Right? All right, that pale horse. You see, it goes from the famine, right? And then, and, 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 right, the famine is going to lead to death. Okay? And all the rest of the things that are going to happen on the earth, man. Give me second as the 15th chapter. All right? I'm going to read that. That's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 4, and verse 16. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight. And that's what's happening now. All these uh, these the, the, the connections, right? The different uh, truckers, the gas prices, the shortages. This is all the Lord breaking the staff of bread, all right, using the elites, okay, because the elites are, are, are used on the left-hand side through Satan, all right? Yahweh is on the right-hand side, okay, and we work under Yahweh on the right-hand side, the righteous side, but then you have the elites that's on the left-hand side, on the wicked side, right, for the purpose of judgment. Go ahead and read that again. God, moreover, he said unto me, son of man, behold, I will break the staff of Jerusalem, and they shall... Okay. And they shall eat bread by weight and with care. Right. And they shall drink water by measure. Right. There's not going to be any seconds. All right. We're coming to a time where the seconds is going to be a thing of the past. All right. Let me get another piece of this and that. No, no, no. Your family member might look to kill you for trying to get another piece of bread. Right. This is the time we're coming to, man. That great famine. All right. Go ahead. And with astonishment. Right. That they may want bread and water yep. and be a stone one with another. Right. And consume away for their iniquity. And that's right. These people that are not with you, how about Shimei Al Shai, they're going to consume away. You're going to see a lot of these people a lot skinnier than they are now, man. All right? A lot of these people are going to go on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a fast that they, they weren't planning. Okay? Go ahead. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, and verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. Right. And the other, and that's, that's where you get the pale horse from. That's going to be part of the pale horse. Is that fact? Right. But there's other things as well. Right. All right, go ahead. And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. Right. So if you escape the hunger, there's, there's the sword for you. Right. Get me, uh, get me that one there in Amos. All right. Even when you lean your hand, you know what I'm talking Mr. about. Book of, go ahead. Amos chapter five and verse uh, eighteen. Woe well, unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what is, and is it for you? The deal of Yahweh is darkness and not light. Right. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Right. So you're running from a lion and you see a bear. All right. That means that's hell. That that represents the hell. All right. You might run this way. You see a guy committing cannibalism. You run that way. You see a guy trying to kill you for whatever you have. Right. You see what I'm saying? You go that way. You see wild beasts just running loose in the city. Go ahead. Or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall. 
and a serpent bit him. Right. Shall not the day of the Lord Yahweh be darkness and not light, right. even very dark and no brightness in it? It's going to be a dark time. You know, they have a saying about how a dark cloud is following somebody. Well, a dark cloud is going to follow all you people that are not with this, with what we're saying, with what with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, with the true power, man. All right? Starting with our, dealing with our people, the Israelites. Because the rest of these other these other nations, they have no chance anyway. But you Israelites, you have a chance of salvation, okay? Because the right. Most High came for you, all right? He sent his son for you. He didn't send his son for everybody, all right? Matter of fact, so, all right, anyways, what you got, bro? Go ahead. Ezekiel 28 and 23. For I will send unto her pestilence and blood unto her streets. And the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword upon her on every side. And they shall know that I am the Lord. That's it. And they're going to know it's a higher power doing it. It's not going to be a, a mystery, man. They're going to know it's a higher power, man. It's okay, you know. They're going to know it's a higher power, you know. Go ahead. This is uh, Lamentations 4 and verse 5. Right. They that their feet delicately are left in desolation in the right. streets. Right. They that so were, in other words, we were living that decadent lifestyle. That's that first world lifestyle. But now it's going to turn to a third world lifestyle out here. But it's going to be worse than that. See, you're going to wish you could go to a third world country I was going to get out here in America, man. You see what I'm saying? You're going to be looking to see if you can get to Zimbabwe. All right? Go ahead. They that did speak delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet. Well, what's an example of feeding delicately? Let's, let's deal with that, right? You got Uber Eats, right? They can just order Uber Eats, skip the dishes, you know what I'm saying? Overeating, overindulgence, right? That's them who, who's living delicately. Go ahead. They that were brought up in scarlet embrace dunghills. Right. Those that were living good, because the people who are in the first world country, so to speak, they're brought up in scarlet compared to these other people. A silver spoon in their mouth, so to speak. All right? Keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna jump up to verse, jump down to verse eight. Their visage is blacker than the coal. Right. They are not known in the streets. Right. It's, it's, it's so it's so uh, good, so to speak, up here compared to the, the rest of the world. They're fighting about uh, about being able to call themselves another gender. You think the people, the people in third, people uh, places that are starving, they don't got time for that, man. They're looking for. They're, they're dealing with real issues, man. Right? They're trying to. They're worried about the water they got to drink. You're worried about nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Uh, their visage is blacker than the coal. Right. They are not known in the streets. No. Their skin cleaveth to their bones. Oh, what is their visage is blacker than the coal? It means that they were so-called black people, man. All right? But anyways, that deals with the famine, too, because when black people, when you go through a famine, your skin gets darker. Go ahead. Their skin cleaveth to their bones. Yep. It is withered. It has become like a stick. Right. Right, and you let, right, and like you got all you got to do is talk, type up a starving person, and you'll see what it means. All right, so-called anorexia. Right, that's what these people are gonna have based upon not having enough food. To eat. Okay, go ahead. On Ezekiel thirty-eight and verse eleven, and thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely. That's the one, America. All right, America is that land of unwalled villages, man. All right, go ahead. All them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. Right. What? This is uh, Revelation 18 and 7. How much she hath glorified herself and lived delici deliciously. Right. So much torment and sorrow give her. Right. For she said in her heart, I see the queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Right. They're going to see the, the, the worst sorrow. The ones that were living like this, they're going to see the worst sorrow. You see? Because they're not used to living a hard a hard life, you know, the, the, the way that a lot of the people around the world live. Right. So when it hits here, it's going to hit them even worse, go ahead. Back to Revelation 6 and 8. And I looked and behold, a pale horse, right. and his name that sat on him was death, mm -hmm. and hell followed with him. Right. Man, does that mean that hell is going to actually come behind a black horse with Satan on a trident, right? And it's just a train of hell. No. It's speaking about a condition that these people are going to be in. It's literally going to be hell on earth for these people. Man. All right? The only ones that's not going to be going through that is the elect. The elect is going to be good. You see? But the rest of these people out here, they're going to be going through complete hell, man. Not being able to eat. All right? The violence on every side. All right? Horror. All right? It's going to be like the purge times. Two. All right? Go ahead. 
2 Ezra 16 and 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap and right. upon the earth that right. they shall think themselves to be in good case. Right, right, victual right, because now they think themselves to be in good case, you know? That's why they can play games, you know what I mean? Because now they can go to McDonald's, you know? They can go to the halal spot to get some pizza or whatever, you know? But soon you're not going to be able to do that. Soon that's going to be shut down. Good. Soon there's not going to be any food in the IGA, all right? The Metro, yep. all right? We're coming, we're coming to that time, all right? If you're really watching, because we're watching, you can see the breakdown of the, the chain, the food chain, man, the supply chain, man, all right? And guess what? That's all biblical prophecy, man. And we're, and we're going to be happy when that happens, man, because guess what? That's when, that's when the elect shines. Go ahead. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Right. Sword, famine, and great confusion. For as many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and other and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Right, so when you escape famine, well there's more help for you, man. There's a there's a there's there's someone that's gonna put you to death. Alright? There's and wild beasts. Here we got the four kinds. There's more? What? And the dead shall be cast out as dumb. And there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. That's right. Go ahead. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall arise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. What does that nation arising against nation mean? Races of people, uh, race wars. Okay, races fighting against other races, man. Right. You're going to see how unified Esau is with you in that day, man. All right? And you end up that. <laughs> That's with Esau. We're gonna see how, how benevolent, how much he loves you in that day, man. All right, all right. Go ahead. And there shall be famine and pestilences, and because when things get hard, Esau shows his true. Rock it up. Esau shows his true, his true colors, man. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Katrina, right? When the Hurricane Katrina happened, them Jakes they thought they had Edomite neighbors that they knew and shit. Them Edomite neighbors was shooting, shooting at them. Yeah. All right. You see what I'm saying? So they weren't looking at them jigs as, as other Edomites. No. They were looking at them jigs like wild beasts. You see what I'm saying to you? So wait till you jigs see the, the, the original Edomite emerge. Go ahead. And earthquakes at different places. And all this are the beginning of sorrows. Right, it's the beginning. It's, and that's just the beginning of sorrows. Because it's going to be for a, a period of time. Go ahead. Oh, you, you have to, Hold on, Revelation 6 and 4. This is the latter part of uh, Revelation 6 and 8. It says, And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death right. and with the beasts of the earth. Right. So that, that, that's what's coming. All right. What it said? The beasts of the earth. Read that again. Read that all that stuff again. It says, His name that sat on him was death. And hell, hell followed with them. And power was given unto them right. over the fourth part of the earth right. to kill with sword and with hunger. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And with death right. and with the beasts and of the earth. What's the Lord going to use for that? The angels. Right. He's going to have the angels out there to, 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 to reap that, that judgment. All right? To give that judgment to these people. You see? So there's the beast, there's the famine, there's the, sword, the different weaponry. All right? That's what's coming, man. See all this wickedness, all this wickedness and folly these people been living in. All right, being able to be weirdos and, and push a, a wicked satanic doctrine across the earth. There's judgment for that, man. All right, the pride, the arrogancy of these people, man. There's judgment for that, man. The Lord ain't gonna allow this to continue, man. There's a time where it's gonna end, and we're at the time where it's about to end, man. And there's gonna be a culmination of judgment, man. Go ahead, bro. Mr. Book of Psalm 78 and verse 49. He caps upon them the fierce of his anger, right. wrath and, in, and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. That's it. So the evil angels, who are they, who are they ruled by? They're ruled by the Heavenly Father. That's right. You see? These stupid Satanists, they, they, they worship the Satan. Well, Satan works for the Lord. Okay? On the left-hand side. You understand? He's omnipotent. means he's all-powerful. That's right. All right? So these angels, they're going to be commissioned to go out and put people to death. All right? In different ways. Give me Ezekiel 9 and 4. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9 and verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Right. Through the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Wherever you Israelites are at, that's where that death is going to come. But also, it's going to be, the heathen are going to get it too. All right? Esau is going to get it. All right? The, the, the Moabites are going to get it. All these other nations are going to get it as well. But the Bible's focus is on our people, the Israelites, man. Okay? 
Go ahead. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right, and these people, we're the only ones that are that are sighing and crying about the abominations. In other words, we're speaking against the wickedness. All right? Everyone else is with it. They're with the alphabet agenda. They're with, they're with uh, uh, two men together. They're with uh, a woman over the man. You know? Disorder. Thought culture. They're with that. You see what I'm saying? The image of these Edomites being uplifted. They're with that. Go ahead. The, the, the system of uh, Edomite supremacy. Really, it's Edomite supremacy. Because they're not white. They're red. Go ahead. And to the others, he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Right. Let not your eyes spare, right. neither have ye pity. Right, don't have pity. That's what the angels are not going to have pity on these people. Go ahead. Slay utterly old and young. So old people are going to get it. Young people are going to get it. Go ahead. Both maids and little children. Maids are young women. The little children are supposed to be sons. Go ahead. And women. And women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Right. And be So all that wickedness they've been doing, all this pride they've been walking in, man, that's about to come to an end. The Lord is going to make that come to a screeching halt. That's right. See? And what's going to cover them is shame. All right? Not only shame, but but fear. All right? And that's all through the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That's right. And we can't wait, man. All right? Go ahead. And begin on my sanctuary. Right. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Go ahead. This is the book of Sarai, chapter 39 and verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right. There's certain spirits that are created just to, to bring forth judgment, man. They eat, they sleep. There's certain men that eat and sleep. You know, they were babies, they were weaned for the milk, right? But they grew up just to put certain people to death, all right? Those serial killers, the Lord put that in their mind to do that. And there's a lot of these type of people walking around now, all right? When you watch that movie, that, uh, what's that show? The mind hunters, all right? They show you that they were just normal people. They were acting like normal people, right? Eat them like so-called white men, all right? That, those are the majority of the serial killers, like 99%. Right. So a lot of these Edomites walking around, they're gonna, they're just gonna lose it, okay? When that time, when all hell breaks loose, and they're gonna be able to enact the things that are in their heart, man. Read that again. It says, Sarek 39 and 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Right. In the time in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right. Who made them? The Lord. So they're gonna appease his wrath by bringing that evil upon whoever the Lord commissions them to bring that evil upon, man. Right? Right. You see what I'm saying? The Lord controls both sides, man. Yes. Right? Fire and hell and famine Woo. and death. All these were created for vengeance. Yep teeth of wild beasts yep. and scorpions. And they're going to see that in these cities, right? They don't believe it because it's not, they never seen it before, right? But they never seen the whole world locked down either, right? But they're going to see all these things that we're talking about, man. They're going to see it and they're going to remember us, man. All right? Go ahead. Serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Point blank, period, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mahaya. You got something? Yeah. This is uh, James uh, 2... And verse 19, thou believest there is one power, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Right, show you the demons are smarter than these people. All right, the demons understand them, the Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They know Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They recognize that name. But these people say, why, why? Because they, because the Lord hasn't opened their mind. Go ahead, uh, uh, Jeremiah 15 and 2. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, whither shall we go forth? Then shall thou tell them, Thus said the Lord, Such as are for death, right. to death, and such as are for the sword, to the sword. Right, because the Lord, the, the doors of mercy are being closed. When the doors of mercy are fully closed, that's what the Lord is going to say. He's going to say what? Read that again. Good. Thus said the Lord, Such as are for death, to death, Give me a, uh, and such death, as are for the dying. sword, to the sword. Right. And such as are for the famine, to the famine. Right. In other words, if he dies, he dies, man. Right? In other words, you got death is coming to them in whatever way I, I you know, the, the angels will do it. You see? Then I commissioned the angels to do it. That's the Lord's attitude, man. Why? Because they didn't want to listen to his messages, man. You see that? Boy, read that. 
and such, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. That's right. right. And some of you are going to be put in a concentration camp, man. And that's not a, that's not going to be a still a vacation site in that time. All right? Can you imagine there being a famine and you're in a concentration camp? What do you think they're going to feed you? Think they're going to give you the, 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 the good portion? No, they're going to give you the least because you're going to be a captive. Oh, um, Salaki, go ahead. Come on, just a book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, and verse nine. Then shall they be a pitiful case, which have now abused my ways, right. and that they have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torment. Yep. For such as in their life receive benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while what, what, what they what does loathe mean? That means to cast away. Go ahead. While they yet. Uh, so yeah. While they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Right, because the doors of mercy are open unto the elect of the, of the really the whole nation of Israel, but only the elect is going to come in. All right? So the doors of mercy is open right now. As long as the prophets are out here, that means that the doors of mercy is open. Once the prophets are out off of the streets, that's when all hell is getting ready to break loose. Give me that to be the evil master. Go ahead. When as yet place of repentance was only unto them, Jesus. understood not, yeah. but despised it. Right, they understood not, but they despised it. See, go ahead. The same must know it after death by pain. Right, the same must know it after death by pain, man. You see that? So since they didn't accept the messages of Yahweh Shem Yahweh pain and death is coming to them, man. Give me Proverbs 1 and 20. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5 and 13. Therefore... The prudent shall keep silent in that time, for it is an evil time. Yeah, that's it. The prudent, who's the prudent? The prophets. Right. We're going to keep silent in the time when the Lord brings all that hell on the earth. Right? See, it's going to be a time we're going to be off the street. This is going to be illegal what we're doing. They're, they're attacking free speech right now. All right? They just had a meeting, and uh, what was it, the WEF meeting? And then you had the, the owner of YouTube or the CEO of YouTube saying, yeah, we need to stop all this free speech. We need to, basically, that's what she was saying. You need to put a, 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 a lid on what people can say. If you're if you're an owner of a YouTube, a video company, why would you want more work for yourself? Why would you want to have to delete more videos? Wouldn't you want a loophole? No, no. Why? Because she's working for the elites. All right? And she understands and she sees the videos we put out, man. So, trust me, it's going to be illegal soon to, to do what we're doing, man. Oh, go ahead. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 12. Verse 17, and the dragon was wroth with the woman right. and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai right. Who's the remnant of the, the, who's the woman? The woman is Israel. Who's the remnant of her seed? Us, the Israelites, man. Okay? Go ahead. Read that again. Come on. Um, come on. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Read from Done. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. The dragon represents these Edomites, okay? The so-called white man that's ruling the earth. He's known as that dragon. His whole system, all right? Going back to the Roman Empire, man. Go ahead. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Who, who seed? The Israelites, go ahead. Which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So that's specifically speaking about the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, because we have the testimony and, and keep the commandments of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. All right? Read what you got real quick. Revelation 6 and 4. And there went an up another horse that was red, yeah. and power was given to him right. that sat thereon. That's speaking about the Edomite rulership. Because what's the characteristic of Esau? When he came out, he came out red all over. That was a different characteristic than everyone else on the planet Earth. That's right. Because everyone else had a brown pigmentation at that time. Okay? So when Isaac saw him, he said, I shot one. All right? Wasted away his heat. Well, what happened? You know what I mean? Because it was something new. That was the beginning of the so-called white heat. If you want to, that's the origins. Okay? Now, read that again. Or read that again. It's and there went out another horse that was red. That was red. So that represents Esau. Go ahead. And power was given to him. Matthews, uh, not Matthew, give me, uh, keep going. And power was given to him that said thereon to take peace from the earth. So he had power, right? The Lord gave them power, right? Going back to the, the, the Renaissance period, 
that's when they started coming back into power, right? That like Christopher Columbus and the rest of the Edomites, the pilgrims, they came on this side of the earth, right? Right, keep going. And that they should kill one another. Right. And there was given unto him a great sword. A great sword was given unto him. What does a sword represent? That represents his weaponry. Right. That's how we took down the Native Americans. It wasn't by, he, he was so strong and fast. It was based upon the weapons, the, the Gatling gun specifically. That's right. Right? The musket wasn't doing the work. The Gatling needed to invent the Gatling gun. And the Lord put it in their mind to do that for what? To fulfill prophecy. It's all about prophecy, man. All right? So Go ahead. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 54 and 16. Yep. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I've created the waster to destroy. Well, that's going into the nuclear missiles. But go, go ahead, read that. Read what right. I This is the book of Genesis 27, and I'm going to begin at 38. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou brought one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, right. Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. So this is the blessing that Esau got. We got the chief blessing. All right, when he blessed us, he blessed us with everything. All right, including the other nations as our slaves. All right, and we gotta say, we gotta kind of say it straight. All right, he blessed us with everything, but now Esau is gonna get a blessing because he was crying. <laughs> Go ahead. And of the dew of heaven from above, yep. and by thy sword shalt thou live. Right, so by thy sword shalt, that's that blessing going back to the red horse. Read that again. Read that again. And the sword was given unto him. All right. And if a brother gets it first, get it first and read it. Hold on. Want that first. Okay? Read that again. Read that again. The version is four. And yeah. by thy sword shalt thou live. That was the blessing that was given to Esau. He shall live by his sword. And you he would prosper by his sword. By his by his uh, weapon. What did Christopher Columbus say when he came on this side? He said he didn't put his sword down for one hour. Even though they were peaceful, he said we didn't put our sword down for one hour, meaning he was constantly killing. All right? That's in their spirit. Read that. Read uh, Revelation 6 and 4, bro. Good. Bring it up. Revelation 6 and verse 4. Yep. And there went out another horse that was red. And right. power was given to him that sat there and take peace from the earth. Right. And that's what they did. They took the earth is way less peaceful than it was if you go 2,000 years ago. You understand what I'm saying to you? Or even before that, the Babylonian Empire. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And that they should kill one another. Right. And there was given unto him a great sword. Right. There was given unto him that great sword, which we're reading that blessing right now. That goes back to Genesis, man. So we found out who the Edomites are. We don't need uh, you to tell that. Well, then again, technically, we found out through the Spirit of the Lord who the Edomites are and who the Israelites are, who we are. Okay? You see? Go ahead, brother. Daniel 7 and 7. After this, I saw in the night vision, yep. and behold, a fourth beast. Dreadful and terrible, yep. and strong exceedingly. Right. And they had great iron teeth, and devour and break in pieces. What's that? That's the Roman Empire. This is nothing but the revival of the Roman Empire, starting what? In the Renaissance period. Right? Go ahead. It devour and break in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of right. it, and was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. Right. And they had ten horns. Right. Well, what, what made it diverse? What's one of the things that made the Roman Empire diverse? There was there was no monarchy. You see what I'm saying? You see, when you go back to before that, everyone was it was the king, and then his son would take over, right? The Romans didn't do it like that. They did it different. A senate, uh, you, know, you know, all these different things, right? Capital buildings or whatever. So they came with a whole new form, a whole new system, right? Which is which is really backwards, but that's what they came with. Go ahead. Sit on that. Sit on that. Go ahead. Uh, this is Revelation 13 uh, and verse. And verse 11, and that he held another beast coming coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Right, that's this whole system, right? This Edomite system. They come with the two horns, which is what? The, the, the liberal, the conservative, the Democrats, the Republican, right? Those are the two horns, and they speak as a lamb. They're speaking soft words. What well, the scripture says, the enemy, bring, bring it out real it's quick. the book of Ecclesiasticus 12, and, and Esau is the top enemy. Go ahead. In verse 16, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Right. 
But it, well, they spoke sweetly to Gat, to the Native Americans when they came over. They said, all right, I got some blankets for you. You want some hot chocolate? Right? What were in the blankets though? Huh? Smallpox. That was disease warfare. You see what I'm saying to you? That's how the Esau, that's how the Edomite operates. That's why God called them what? Fork tongue. What's another animal that has fork tongue? The serpent, man. Go ahead. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Right. But in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Well, the serpent, which was a man, spoke to Eve, to Eve sweetly. He told her, oh, you shall not surely die. Right? Her being simple, she believed it. And what happened? Now, now, we, now we're coughing. All right? We got, we got, you know what I'm saying? The leg hurt. Right? Now we die. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because of that, that transgression right there. But who did that come from? That came from the enemy. Read that again, brother. God, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Right. But in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Right. When you see Bill Gates, he doesn't have a... He's not rough, this and that. No, he's all effeminate, weak. No, he crosses his legs like a like a like a flamer, right? Yeah, yeah. By the way, there's another one coming, and then you know, like a real effeminate. You wouldn't think he could hurt anything, but behind his his mind is diabolical, man. Right? Go ahead. He will weep with his eyes, right? But if he find opportunity. He will not be satisfied with blood. What? Well, didn't he say he has to take off a certain percentage of the population of the earth? That's that's violence right here. That's you know what I'm saying? You, you see? And he said that on camera. And it went over most of those people's heads. It just went over their head. And then they offer that to you now. Now you gotta take that. Right? And it doesn't mean anything. Right? Go ahead. So Genesis, and where's the video of him taking it? <laughs> Go ahead. Genesis 3 and oh, 1. Hold on, hold on. What happened to your boy Justin Bieber, man? He can't blink one of his eyes. What happened? Which one would that come from? That was what was happening to the people from the beginning with the whole Jew shit. So you see, this man is the devil, man. You Edomites, so so-called white man is the devil. All right. right. Go ahead, man. So the book of Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast and in this world. Don't forget the one. Go ahead. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field right. which the Lord Yahweh had made. What does subtle mean? That means crafty. All right? That's crafty. Go ahead. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Right. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, right. but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of it, right. neither shall ye touch it, lest right. ye die. Right. Keep going. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. That's that that's Edomite vernacular. That's how them Edomites talk, bro. You just the Bill Gates and technically, well, you know, or like if you deal with the abortion, right? Well, technically it's just a fetus, it's not an actual that's serpent talk right here. That's double speak, bro. Read that again, man. That's the same talk. It's the same in the, it's the same spirit that's in these devils, man. That's right. Go read that again. Genesis chapter 3 and verse. For and the serpent said unto the woman, Right, ye shall not surely die. Was he telling the truth? No, he was lying. All right, she did surely die. She didn't, she didn't die right there and then, but she eventually she died. Go ahead, because of that. Go ahead. For the Most High doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Right, and, and you put a little bit of truth in it. But that's how you do it. That's how you do the ministry. You put a little bit of honey. Uh, Go ahead, buddy. This is Job 13 and verse 4. But ye are forgers of lies. Right. Ye are our physicians of no value. Right. Forgers of lies. He was a murderer from the beginning. Get me that. Get me the that. The book of St. John, chapter 8 and verse 4 4. Right. It reads ye are, of, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. Right. He was a murderer from the beginning. And the bold not in the truth. Who's that going into? That's speaking about Cain, which that's the spirit of these Edomites. And really he was referring to the Romans, man, which are Edomites. Go ahead. Because there are no there is no truth in him. Right. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. Right. For he is a liar and the father of it. Right. He's a liar and that's the father right. of it, man. Alright? Esau's nothing but a big liar, but he knows how to, to talk and, and no mix in the truth, but then there's a bunch of confusion with it. Well, technically, that's Esau. You know, you know, you know, you know how Esau operates, man. 
Or, or when you look at the, the molecular structure, it's that something that's simple, you'll make it complicated. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so and then you'll say something about it that, oh, I think that's an oversimplification. What the hell is an oversimplification? Go ahead. Man. Psalm 55 and 21. The word of his mouth was smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. His word was softer than oil. Right. Yet were drawn swords. Drawn swords, man. And you see his the results of that, what he's done to the people around the earth, man. All right? He came with that smooth talk, right? But then what happened? He ended up murdering them. He yep. ended up the old disease warfare. You understand? And that's where you jakes are at now. You jakes are under the, 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 the foot of the devil. Right, you jakes are under the rulership of the devil, and that's why you jakes are in the condition you're in. That's right. Okay? That's, right. that's part of it. Alright? That's a big part of it. What? That's the book of Psalms, chapter 5, and verse 9. Yep. But there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Right. They're oh, whoa, whoa, what proves that? They broke What's every the treaty they made with the Native Americans. Not one that they kept out of hundreds of treaties. Is that that's not a man, that's not a people of honor. You see? When we were ruling in the dark ages, there was some level of honor. Right, the knights, you know, there's some level of honor. Like, if you didn't have honor, people are not messing with you like that. Now, Esau, that's a different thing. He doesn't care about honor. He sold his his birthright for for a piece of meat, man. Go ahead. But there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Right. Their inward part is very wickedness. Ooh. Their throat is an open sepulcher. Yeah. They flatter with their tongue. And, but they flatter with their tongue. But in the, the words that get, it's an open sepulcher, man. If you, if you fall into that uh, philosophy. Go ahead, brother. You need on. Let me get some box. Let's go ahead. Uh, uh, Sarah 12 and 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Or any such come nigh a wild beast? So is one that goeth to a sinner right. and is defiled with them and is sin. Right, so if you trust in Esau, that's your problem. You trust in these devils after all this time, right? And you got a, you got met, even the devil surprised you. You even surprised Esau. You Esau like, God damn this. <laughs> giving me hugs and welcoming me in like, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Verse 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Yep. But in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Right. He will weep with his eyes. But if you find opportunity, he will be not. He will not be satisfied with blood. Right. You know, Jake, Jake is bugged out. I, I don't remember what, which video it was, but I remember hearing a brother speak about a video about a, a woman who was breaking down like some atrocities that happened to Jake that, that the Edomites did, and then you know it was an Edomite woman. You know, and she was all sorrowful, but then Jake was giving. She's like, Why are you guys giving me looks? Why are you guys thanking me? You know. Because she's like, yo, you should be angry at me. Man. You see what I'm saying? Because Jake is so bugged out. You know, even even the devil gets surprised. Man. Go ahead, Mahai. Real quick, this is a uh, Hosea 4 and verse 6. And it reads, My people are destroyed for a lack for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected the knowledge. I also will reject thee, right. that thou shalt be no priest unto me, right. seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And that's what's getting ready to happen, man. Right? The Lord is about to forget your children, man. You see, when all this stuff breaks, breaks loose out here, you're not going to have a, a protective uh, orb around you because you have a child or whatever. Okay? You see? The Lord is going to have it where you're going to get the worst end of this thing. Good. This is all right. Chapter 12 and verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that has been with a serpent? Brother just read that. Brother just read that. Go ahead, which one? Oh, Isaiah 30 and what? Three. Yep. There shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Right. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Right. You trusting in this devil, that's gonna be your shame, man. Right? You see? What you got? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, and verse 15. Every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Right. Right. That's it. All right. Second Isaiah 16, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17,
fear him, live up from your sins, and forget your iniquities to me to meddle to meddle to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the most I lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Right, just, just right. So a lot of you are going to be put up in those concentration camps. All right, go ahead. Uh, verse 69, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Right. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Where is it? All right. They're gonna, who's that? The troops. All right. When the troops are giving uh, Isaiah 59. All right. 19. All right. But when the troops come in, man, they're not going to be sparing anymore. All right. When it starts to get real, when they give them that, that, that green light, all right, to, to, to start putting people to death. You heard about the term license to kill? Well, they're going to have that license. What? It's the book of Isaiah. Yeah. What? Uh, they shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. That's it. Go ahead, brother. Isaiah 59 and verse 19. So they shall fear the name of the Lord from the west and, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. Right, who's that enemy? That's speaking about the, the Edomites, all right? And their, their troops, they're going to come in, all right? And they're going to be kicking in doors. They'll be looking for certain people. That's on the red list, all right? The people on the yellow list, they're going to have to take them to the uh, re-education centers, all right? This is where Esau's getting at, okay? All you got to do is watch those dystopian movies, and that's literally what the elites are planning, all right? Go ahead. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. They know their rulership is almost done, man. All right, they understand how Shah is coming to take them out of power, man. That's why they're setting up their space for them. You understand? But they're never gonna be able to fight. They said that he shall rise up against the prince of princes. But you shall be broken without hand. Right. All right. So they're, they're not going to prevail. What? Job 15 and 21. A dreadful sound is in his ears. In prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. He believeth not that he shall return out of darkness, and he is waiting for the sword. Right. And his prosperity meaning what? When they're about to fill their belly. Right. The Lord is going to is going to put that uh, that into their kingdom. Okay. It's going to be sudden too. All right. Go ahead. This is Job 5 and verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wives of the uncraftiness and the counsel of the floor is carried headlong. That's it. He taketh the wives in their own craftiness, man. Right? You understand? So, in other words, they think they're going against the most high. They're, they're falling right into the plans of the Heavenly Father. You see? All to fulfill prophecy, man. Right? Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms 140. And verse 8, grant not, O Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, the desires of the wicked, further not his device, lest they exalt themselves. Right, right. The Lord is not going to allow them to finish what they, what they plan on doing. Go ahead. This is Job. What is it? Okay, go ahead. This is the book of Job, chapter 14, and verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed, thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Yeah. Right, so the Lord has a particular day and time where these Edomites are going, going to go down. All right, and we're real close. All right, we're real close. But before that happens, this whole society is going to break down. All right? It's going to break down to famine, right? To, to uh, civil wars and things like that. Right. People breaking into people's houses, kicking out doors, looking for food. That's what we're coming to. Shortages of everything. All right. Now they have a shortage of tampons, man. Yeah. So a lot of these chicks better know, better check to see if you know she got tampons and shit. Cause that's dutchiness. All right. Benjamin says that's dutchy. Put that. Got to put that mask down there. Like. <laughs> <laughs> dutchiness. Go ahead. Bro. First Thessalonians five and three. For when they says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Right. 
when they shall say peace and safety, right? So they're acting like everything's getting back to normal, or you're gonna see something worse is coming. All right, it's gonna get even more. It's gonna get even worse. All right, go ahead. As a, as travail upon a woman with child, right? They shall not escape. That's it. That's it. That's exactly it. Go ahead. This is second Isaiah 14 and verse 14. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Right. <laughs> greater evils is on the way. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel 21 and verse 8. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, Say, A sword, a sword is sharpened, and also furbished, and is sharpened to make a sword slaughtered, and is furbished that it may glitter. So we then make mirth and condemn it the rod of my son as every tree. And he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and also furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Who's the slayer? The Edomites, specifically the elites. All right? So the Lord has set them up on the left-hand side on the Satan to do what they're doing. All right? And that's all going to take care of you too. All right? That's where Satan is going to actually... He's going to use Satan to actually bring judgment on the wicked. That's right. All right? But then he's going to do away with the wicked. You see? Then he's going to do away with the elites. Right. See, they think they're going to be good. No, no. The Lord has a plan to take them out too and set up a righteous rulership, man. Go ahead. Psalms, Psalms chapter 17 and verse 13. Arise, O Lord Yahweh, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Which is thy sword. Right, so the Lord is going to disappoint their plans, their New World Order plans, all right? And actually set up a righteous rulership instead, all right? Which is going to be ruled by Yahweh Shai and us being joint heirs, man. That's right. Okay, the Israelites, they ain't going to be ruled by no Edomites, man. Edomites are going to have to go where, they, where they're supposed to be, in captivity under the Israelites, man. That's right. Point blank, period. All right, because we were out of captivity under them, right? So the Lord said, the first shall be last and the last shall be first, man. All right, go ahead. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, and verse 14. The Lord, Yahweh hath cast down the thrones of proud princes. Right, and Esau is known as the most proud in the scriptures. When it speaks about the Edomite, it says he's like the eagle, right? Go ahead. And set up the meat in their stead. Right, and the meat for the people on the side, man. All the people on the side, that's the meat. And it's scattering around the earth. Okay, because our, our people are scattered into all nations. Right. right, but wherever they're at, they're at the bottom. Wherever they're at, they got those that those spiritual chains on them. Okay, go ahead. The Lord hath plucked up the roots of the proud nations right. and planted the lowly in their place. Right, which is the Israelites, the true Israelites, man. Okay, go ahead, brother. This is Isaiah ten and fifteen. Shall the axe boast itself against him that hew it therewith? Yeah. Or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it? Right, and that's what Esau is doing. He's boasting himself against the Most High, saying, no, we created this. No, we're going to put GMO foods. No, we're going to actually, in 2020, 2030, we're going to have incubated babies. That's what they're saying. That's speaking great. Give me that you great words, blaspheming the heavens. That's this man. That's Esau, right? The Persians didn't do that, okay? The, the Hamites, the Egyptians didn't do that, okay? They, they were proud. They had their, their problems, but they didn't go that deep. They didn't go that deep. Um, read that again. Read that again. Who's reading that? Read that again. This is Isaiah 10 and 15. Shall the axe boast itself against him e that you were there with? The axe is Esau. The Lord is using Esau to bring forth prophecy, man. Go ahead. Or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it? Right. As if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up. Right. Or as if the staff should lift, it, lift up itself as it were no wood. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 like a, this, this can't come up against us and say, "Oh, turn me off." You know what I'm saying? The staff needs someone to pick it up. You know, the the, the, the axe needs someone to wield it. Okay, that's what it's saying. And Esau is being used by the heavenly Father. Get me um Daniel four and seventeen real quick. Daniel four and verse seventeen. Yeah. So when it reads, "The smiter is by the decree of the watchers, to the demand by the word of the Holy." Read it nice and slow. Read it nice and slow. Good. Daniel four and seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers to the demand by the lips to the de and the demand the by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. So the Lord, the heavenly father rules in the kingdom of men. That's why he did what he did to Nebuchadnezzar because he started getting ahead of himself thinking he was starting running things. Go ahead. And giveth it. 
to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men. And he gave the earth into the hands of Esau. All right, get me that, Job 9 and 24. He gave it into their hands for a particular time. Go ahead, give me that and give me um, Proverbs 16 and 4. All right, just the, the book of Job chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? Well, we just read that, that the, the Lord give it into whosoever he will, right? So he gave it into the hands of the wicked, right? Uh, yeah, get me on um, the Proverbs 16 and 4. Proverbs 16 and verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So the Lord set up these Edomites to rule for the day of evil. All right, the day of doom, so to speak. All right, that's what he set them up for. All right, it couldn't be the Persians, it couldn't be Japheth, it had to be Esau because he's the, the wicked, he's the wicked, so he needs to use him to bring forth the most wicked measures, man. <laughs> this is uh, Psalm 75 and 5 Lift not up your horn on high, speak not with the stiff neck, for promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, right. nor from the south. But Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is the judge. Yep. He put it down one and set it up another. And that's who we're that's who we're looking to, to uplift us. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Esau's looking to uplift himself. Yep. Alright? More on that? Okay, go ahead, Zabak. Uh, second Peter, second Peter two and nine. The Lord knew it how to deliver the godly out of temptation yep. and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Well, that's it. And all these people are being reserved for judgment. But especially the Edomites, all right? All the ones that are not of the elect, okay? But especially the Edomites, all right? Because that's the wicked. So they, they got to get their just due, all right? Go ahead, brother. Uh, Psalms 103 and 19. The Lord hath prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom ruling over all. Right. That's it. Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is Jeremiah uh, 49 and verse 12. But thus saith the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have a surely drunken. Right. And art thou he? Oh, who, who, who's that? That's us. We drank of that cup. All right? What was that cup? Slavery, uh, 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 destruction, you know, uh, shame, all these different things. The Israelites drank of that cup. Go ahead. And art thou he? That's all altogether go and punish. Are you Edomites, you so called white people? Are you going to go and punish? Let's see what the Lord said. Go ahead. Thou shalt not go and punish. But thou shalt surely drink thou shalt of it. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. That's, it's their turn now. The Lord is going to set it up where we're going to be over them. All right? And that's going to be for eternity. All right? Until they're taken out. All right? Go ahead. This is Lamentations 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. Right? The cup also shall pass me unto thee, right. and thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. Right. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Right, our punishment is accomplished, right? Going into slavery, right? Taking the Native Americans, stealing their land, chopping off their, you know, scalping them, all these different things they were doing, right? Our punishment is accomplished. We're at the end of our punishment. Go ahead. And so I can, he will not, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit that iniquity of God of Edom. Right, he will visit the iniquity of the daughter of Edom. Now it's the Edomite's turn. You see that? Go ahead. He will discover yeah, thy sins. Right. He will discover, discover thy sins. Go ahead, bring your priest up. Woe to uh, Isaiah 33 and, and 1. Woe to thee that spoileth, and thou was not spoiled. Yeah. And did it treacherously, and they that thou not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. Right. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. What's the main way Esau's gonna be spoiled? Huh? Well, those nuclear missiles. Okay, well that, that too, that's gonna come after them. You know, because the scriptures speak about it in Habakkuk, they saying that, uh, you know what I'm saying, you spoil many nations, all the people shall spoil thee. How are they gonna spoil them? Through those missiles. That's right. right. What are those missiles gonna do? That's gonna consume everything they have. Go ahead, bring that real quick. Got some real quick? Go ahead, bring that on. Obadiah, Obadiah 1 and 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathens. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. 
Thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, that said in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou right, said that. And, that was, and that's another clue of who the eagle was speaking about, and who, who the Edomites are. All right? Because what was, what was the Roman symbol? The eagle. The Greek symbol, the eagle. All right? Uh, the American symbol, the, the eagle, man. All right? So that's these Edomites, that's what they like. Because the eagle represents, you know, height, pride. All right? What? Though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, said the Lord. What does that mean, though thou set thy nest amongst the stars? That means once they went up into the outer space, that's when the Lord started to really make their, their society crumble. Going back to what, 1969. After that, the society has been through. All right? You got some form of family going back to 1950s. Now it's nothing. This is done. All right? What you got? This is the book of Job, chapter 20, and verse 24. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. Right, that's the nuclear missiles. All right? You got something else? Hold that for a second. What you got? I got Isaiah 34 and 6. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood right. and is made with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of ram. For the Lord has a sacrifice in Bozrah and a great slaughter in the land of Adumia. That's speaking about America, all right? Parabolically, that's speaking about America. Because right? when those nuclear missiles hit, everything that's in there is going to get consumed, all right? And that's really like a sacrifice Y'all about shit, y'all shot. Same. All right, go ahead. And the unicorn shall come down with them, and the bull bullock with the bulls, and the land shall be shook with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. That's it. Go ahead. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 24 and 9. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Power, woe to the bloody city, I will even make the pile for fire great. Heap on wood, kindle the fire, consume the flesh, and spice it well, right. and let the bones be burned. That's it. The Lord's gonna, gonna burn it up, man. That's the most. Yeah. It's Isaiah 14 and 5. Well, hold on. Let's just get a couple pieces. Go ahead. What you got? This is Joel 2 and verse 3. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them. A desolate wilderness. That means that the land is like, as the garden of Eden before them. Meaning what? Meaning that in front of them it's going to be, you know, if you're going to see trees, you might see grass or whatever. But behind them it's going to be a desolate wilderness because that's where the wave of fire is coming. All right, go ahead. And behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Right. Nothing is going to escape those nuclear missiles. If you're on the land at that time, you're done. That means you're not of the elect. Okay? Go ahead. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Right. Like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire. Right, because it's going to be loud too. You're going to be able to hear the nuclear missiles coming. Right. See, so it's, like, it's a real terrible thing. See, you're going to have to hear the alarm, the siren, oh, uh, get underground because, you know, the missiles are on its way. Russia shut off such and such. China shut off such and such. And you're going to actually hear rumbling of it coming, so it's going to be like a, a mighty army. It's going to black out the sun. So that's great terror that the Lord is getting ready to bring on these people. That's right. Go ahead. Two. 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 Oh, just a little bit more? Yeah, Go ahead. Like, uh, like a noise of a, a flame of fire that devoured the stubble mm -hmm. as a strong people set in, set in battle array. That's it. That's it. Go ahead. So 20 and 24. He, he shall flee from the iron weapon, right. and the bow of steel shall strike them through. Yeah. It is drawn and coming out of the body, yeah. yet the glittering sword coming out of the... Uh, what, what body? What's his body? The nuclear silo. It's going to come out of the nuclear silo and go to its destination. Go ahead. Yeah, See, the war, the war that's coming is not the same as other wars. Give me that. Give me, give me Isaiah 9. It's the book Isaiah 10. Hold on. Finish that off first. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, the glittering sword coming out of his glove. Right. It's glittering because it, it's the fire that's coming out of it. Go ahead. Terrors are upon him. How darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. Right. That's right. right. A fire not blown. Meaning what? The nuclear warheads are going to hit the destination and start to consume that land. Go ahead. It's the book it, of, oh, there's a little bit more. Go ahead. 
it shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. So anyone who's left on the earth, on the ground of America at that time, is going to be done. Go ahead. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, and verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise right. and garments rolled in blood. Right. They'll be running. They'll screaming. They're all running in unison to go with the swords and the shields. Go ahead. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. But this is a different war. This war is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. Right. All right. Like we told you, it's going to be a nuclear war. All right. And it's going to consume America completely. All right. And while that's happening, guess who's on his way? Yahweh Shad. Right. All right, go ahead. Uh, real quick, this is the book of Jeremiah 50 and verse 40. I suppose I overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, right. and the neighbor cities thereof, said the Lord, so shall no man abide there. Right. Neither shall any. And while, and while that World War III is going to be going on, our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to come back to redeem the elect of the nation of Israel, man. All right? And he's going to put an end to this kingdom, man. Go ahead. Neither shall any son of men dwell there. Right. Behold. A people shall come from the north, a great Ooh, nation. But what people? Go ahead, keep going, keep going. And many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. Right. They shall hold the That's bow. That's speaking about Russia. When it speaks about the north, it's speaking about Russia. Russia is the, ultim uh, the utmost north. Go ahead. They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel right. and will not show mercy. Right. Their voice shall roar like the sea. Man. And they shall ride upon horses. Right. Everyone put in a ring, like command to the battle against the O daughter of Babylon. Right, and, and that's all. That's parabolic too, because it's speaking about it's saying horses, but they're not going to have one. They're going to have tanks, right? When it speaks about the javelin, they have a missile that's known as the javelin missile. That's the modern day javelin. All right, but then you got the glittering sword, which is going to be the nuclear missile. Right. All right, so the, or the arrows. You see, the, the scriptures in, in parabolic talk, man. Go ahead. Second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse twelve. The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep. Right. The waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. The earth is going to quake when those missiles hit. The whole planet is going to quake. Everywhere is going to have an uh, 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 earthquake. Okay, go ahead. Verse 13, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. Right. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp right. and shall not miss. What? When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. What kind of arrows, what kind of archer can shoot an arrow to the end of the world? It's not speaking about a regular arrow, man. It's speaking about the nuclear missiles, man. That's right. right. That's going to go from Russia, China, Iran, and these different uh, uh, allies and hit America. All right? And it's going to destroy the land of Israel, too, because they got those heathens in our land, man. So they got to get cleansed out of there. All right? And then we're going to go build that land back up. But America is not going to be inhabited again. Okay, that's, that is there for an example of what not to do, how not to be. That's the land of confusion, man. Go ahead. You got some else? Okay, go ahead, brother. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13 and 5, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, and the weapons of his indignation. The nuclear missiles. Go ahead. To destroy the whole land. Right. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction, from the Almighty. That's it. It's going to destroy the whole land, right? This is Jeremiah 50 and verse 14. Put yourselves in the raid against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrow, for she has sinned against the Lord. They're not going to spare no arrows. They're not going to spare any missiles. They're not going to say, okay, we're going to keep this one just in case. No, all those missiles are gone, bro. And if they don't want to hit the button, the angel's going to hit the button. All right? They proved that because they said that one day, they, 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 a couple times, the, the thing started counting down by itself. You saw the cherry. All right? So they ain't letting you know, listen, one way or another, the button's going to be pressed. Go ahead. Verse 15. Shout a dance around the bell. She hath given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she hath done do unto her. Right. What has she done? She's done nothing but wickedness and, and, and violence upon the earth. Isaiah 24 and 15 and 17. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon the earth, or are upon thee, or inhabitants of the earth. Right. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up, up from the mist 
of the pit shall be taken into the snare, where the widow, where the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, dissolved. The What's going to dissolve the earth? What's going to dissolve the elements? That nuclear fire. All right, go ahead. The earth is smooth, exceeds. And that's the same. That's that's the same thing that the Bible Sodom and Gomorrah. When they look at it, it's like it's the same thing as a nuclear fire. So the Lord put it in their spirit to create basically a uh, 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 fire and brimstone in a missile form. Go ahead. The earth shall reel to and fro like a jumper, and shall be removed, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgressions there, thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. It's not going to rise again. After America's destroyed that city, there's no more coming up, there's no more Eiffel Tower, you know, okay, we're going to rebuild, no, you're not, this was your rebuilding, and after this, that's it. The Lord said he was going to throw it out, he's going to throw it out for good. It's more than that? No, that's it. Okay, this is Revelation chapter 9, verse 15. And the four angels were loosed, right, which were prepared for an hour and the day and the month and the year for to slay the third part of men. Right. And right. the number of the army of the horses. What's, what's the third part of men? Uh, that's uh, the, uh, the, 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 the heathens, the other nations. The other nations. Uh, it's it's negative. Negative. The, the Edomites. Edomites. The Edomites. That's speaking about Esau. All right. That's who's coming to destroy. I said it shall fall down upon Idumia, right? So the Lord is coming to destroy Idumia because Idumia is right. When you destroy America, you're destroying the top Edomite city. That's the city that runs. That's what rides the beast. Give me that. The war that rides the beast. Listen, America is controlling the, the NATO and the EU, man. Go ahead. This is Revelation 17 and verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman. We sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Right. That's, that's NATO in the EU, the power structure of Esau, go ahead. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet colored, right. and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hands, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Right, that's America. The filthiness of our fornication, and they push nothing but wickedness and witchcraft on the earth, man. And they force other people to get down with their philosophies, man. You see that? Their feminism, their alphabet soup, they're trying to give to children at young ages, man. That's, that comes, that all mostly stems from America. All right, go ahead. Jeremiah 51 and 7, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, Therefore, the nations are mad. That's why you go to the Middle East, there's, there's a McDonald's. All right? Africa, they got McDonald's. All right? Go ahead. Verse five, Revelation 17 and 5, right? You know? And a lot of those countries are trying to fight against it, but it still emerges because that, that wine is so potent. You know? Go ahead. It says, and, and upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and the abominations of the earth. Right. Mother of pilots and abominations of the earth. Right? See what I'm saying? So that's that's America. Okay? Go ahead. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints right. and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai. And when I saw her, I wondered. Well, meaning what? She's gonna, they're gonna come down with great wrath. There's gonna be buzz that's gonna be put to, uh, put to death. Alright? Those are gonna have to be martyrs. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And I wondered with great admiration. Right. Go, go back to where it was writing. You didn't get to the point where it was writing the beast yet. This is uh, Revelation 17 and verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Right, what's it was right. It was supposed to say ride upon a beast, but it sat upon a beast, meaning it was, it was riding it. Okay? She was riding it. But anyways, Paul, um, what do you got? Uh, pertaining to how you said that uh, the nations are going to press the button regardless? Yeah. Uh, but before, you, before you get there, before you get there, uh, what, yeah. you found it? Go ahead. And, the, and, here is the, and here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings, five are fallen. Right. The, the, the woman sitteth. Right. right, the woman said it, right? But it, no, but it's, there's another one that says right upon the scarlet colored beast. But go, go ahead. This is 
Okay, go on, go on. Uh, verse King uh, 22 and 20, 21. And there came forth the Spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt pursue it, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Right. All right. So right. So the Lord controls both sides. Which what you got, Pat? This is a uh, Second Peter three and verse two. Uh, so like it, and verse twelve. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, where the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, man. It means it's gonna it's gonna melt all the elements. What's gonna do that? What can melt the building? Only the nuclear fire. Why? Because the structure has metal and all these iron and all these things that are in it. Okay? So you need some extreme heat. You know? Go ahead. This is Isaiah 14 and verse 23. Look up how hot this is. I will also make it a possession for the bitter and pools of water. And I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, said the Lord of hosts. Right. The besom of destruction. That's that nuclear weight, man. All right, got something? Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind right. to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. That's it. All right, so in other words, he's going to judge you. Revelation 8 and 8. And the second angel sounded and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea and and the third part of the sea became blood that's it that's it all right because that that mountain represents what america all right that's going to be destroyed completely all right Sorry. that that's where the lake of fire is going to be see people don't understand that they think it's going to be there's some place underground where a guy with a pitchfork no no, no. the lake of fire is going to be america when those nuclear missiles hit right. all right and everyone that's in it that's the judgment of the lord that's right. all right See, these people have no clue what's getting ready to come, man. All right? Go ahead, brother. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2. And I'm going to begin at verse 4. For the Most High spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness. Who's the angels that sinned? That's us. That's the Israelites, man. The sons of God. Go ahead. To be reserved unto judgment and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Right bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Right. Now it's not going to be a flood. Now it's going to be the nuclear fire. And we're like it unto Moses. And we're like it unto Noah. All right? Go ahead. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, right. That's what I want. Yeah. making them an ensample unto those after, so like you, uh, unto those that should after live ungodly. Well, that's what, that's what Sodom and Gomorrah was. All right, an example. But did Esau take the example? No, he, yeah, he took the example and did worse. All right, so the Lord is going to destroy that uh, America worse than what he did Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? All right, that's overkill. You got the definition there? You got the definition of how hot it was? I want to see this real quick. Read out loud. It says, um, this is, uh, the question is, how hot is an ICBM? It says, in a typical ICBM flight with a peak altitude of 900 miles and a range of 6,500 miles, the stagnation temperature in the shock wave at the front of the nose cone could reach 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. 12,000 degrees, that's Ooh. one. Right? That's one ICBM missile, 12,000 degrees. That's like lava. Right, that's like, that's like it's worse than lava. That's worse than lava. That's worse than lava. All right, well, look at how look at how hot lava is. Oh, well, look at the sun. Oh. So it says here, uh, the sun is about 9,941 oh. Fahrenheit. Well, that's, oh, that's according, but either way, bro, that means that, that thing's going to be hotter than the sun. Wow. Wow. They're going to get consumed with something yeah, yeah, hotter yeah. than the sun. Boy, brother. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, yeah. and verse 12. And this is the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh 
shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Bro, read that again. God. And this is the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Right. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. That's from the nuclear missiles, man. All right? They're going to consume away. All right? You see? Look, look at how hot lava is. Right? It says lava is a... Uh, 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, oh, so that's way hotter than lava. Way, way. That's like 10, 10 X, all right? You see what I'm saying to you? You see what I'm saying? So that's, and that's one in it. Now you're gonna have a whole culmination of all of those at 100, uh, 100 million, no, 200 million, all right? Nuclear warheads. What? Uh, Revelation 20 and 14, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. That it, this is the second death. That's the second death, man. See, the first was what was the water. Now the Lord is going to overkill them with, with fire. All right? See? That's the most. This is the book of Jeremiah 50 and verse 22. A sound of battle in the land and of great destruction. Right. How was the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation? among the nation. Right. I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. Right. Thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. That's it, because everything they're doing is against the Heavenly Father, man. Everything they're doing is against the laws of the Scriptures, man. Right. You see? So that's why the Lord is going to judge Esau and judge Babylon, which is America. All right? It's going to completely destroy it. Go ahead. That's something else. Go ahead. Verse 25. The Lord had opened his armory. Right. And have brought Part of his army is what? Those nuclear missiles. Go ahead. And had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Right. For this is the work of the because Lord. Like power. I said, that's nothing but fire and brimstone contained in a missile, right. in an in a, in, 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 in a instrument. That's what the Lord did. He gave them the knowledge. To, now you can bring that scripture up. Dealing with uh, the smith, the Lord calls. Go ahead. For this is the work of of the Lord Yahweh power right. of host in the land of the child. Those are those are his weapons, man. Right. See, those are his weapons he's gonna use to destroy America. Right. Alright, and melt the wicked in there. Alright? And it's gonna be hitting different places on the earth too. You see? Go ahead. Uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the and then it's like and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people right. that fought against Jerusalem. Right. So it all goes back to what? What was done against Israel. All right? Against our people. All right? Go ahead. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Right. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Right. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's it. Right? They're going to be melted, man. Right? Point blank, period. Okay? So there's another scripture that I should be melted like a snail, like some rough and curry face, man. Go ahead, you know when it gets hot, the snails start to melt. Go ahead, the Lord blanking these people to snail. Go ahead. Uh, this is Hebrews 12 and verse 29. For our Lord is a consuming fire. Woo. The Lord is what? A consuming fire. Right. So the, the Lord's presence is going to be within that. Right? You see? So you walk out, they can't really melt it. The heat and they're going to feel it. They're just going to step. Everything before it is going to be. Enough. Everything before it, the fact that you know it's on its way, the fact that you're hearing it coming, the fact that you're, you're, you're like, oh shit, you know? And then it just blocks out the, the whole sky, and all you know is that some, all these things are about to hit on it. Right? Imagine the sky goes black, and then you know all those are nuclear missiles. Every single dot you see is a nuclear missile coming down with great speed. Just like in the movie Sparta, you know, where they shot the arrows and they covered the whole sun. Right. Right. So that's overkill. Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms 58 and verse 6. Break their teeth, O power, in right. their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. <laughs> yep. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be be as cut in pieces. Yep. 
as a snail which melteth. As a snail which melteth. They're gonna melt like snails out here, man. The Lord's literally gonna make them melt and they're gonna feel it. Go ahead. Let every one of them pass away, like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. Ooh. Ooh. See that? So th that's gonna black out the sun. King you know, of terror. This is uh, Joel 2 and 6. Before their face, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather blackness. All right. This is much pain, right? So they're going to feel it. All right? Go ahead. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 2. And I will send it unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. It is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. That's it. Alright? That's that 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 that, that um, smith was the scientist. Okay? And they cut and cut the split the atom and they created the nuclear missile. Right, the Lord gave you that understanding. What? Right? This is Joel two and verse one. Blow ye the trumpet of Zion, sound an alarm in the in my holy mountain. Right. Let all the habit, the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong and, and so like there hath not been. Ever the light, neither shall be any after it. What's that speaking about? The great people and the strong. Done. Uh, Joel 2 and verse 2. A day of darkness and of gloominess. Of a day of cloud and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and the strong. There hath not been ever the light, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. What's that great people in the strong speaking about? That means that uh, he's still going to be destroyed. The great people in the strong that shall never be the light. No. You got it? What's that speaking about? Is that the missile? Is it? This it is the missile. Okay, it is the missile. Alright? It's speaking about a nuclear missile. Meaning what? After this is not in the kingdom ain't gonna have that. Alright? Because all the weaponry is gonna be destroyed. What? I said I said thirty two and six. I will also water with thy blood. I will also water with thy blood the land wherein thou swimmest, right. even to the mountains and to the rivers. And the and the rivers shall be full of thee. Right. And when I shall put thee out, I will cover the heavens and make the stars thereof dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light, and the bright lights of the of heaven. Will make will I make dark over thee and set darkness upon thy land? Yeah. Set the Lord power. And a nuclear missile is going to hit in daytime. It's not going to hit at night. No. Nuclear is going to hit literally in the daytime. It's going to broad daylight. What? I will also vex the hearts of many people when I shall bring that destruction among the nations unto the countries which thou hast not known. Right. Uh, for, the, uh, for thus set the Lord, uh, verse 11, for thus set the Lord to power. The sword of the king of Babylon shall come upon thee. By the swords of the mighty will I cause the multitude to fall. Right, that's okay, that's good, that's good. This is Isaiah 9 and verse 19. To the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. See, no oh, man yeah, shall be the fuel. The fuel. The, that's what's going to be catching on fire. See, when you start a fire, you need to stumble, you need to Wow. To ignite the fire, where well, the people are gonna ignite the fire. Right? All right, you might they might be holding on one to another, and that, that one's gonna wow. catch on fire, gonna help burn him up. <laughs> wow. Genesis 19 and 27. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. Yeah. And he looked towards the Dom and Gomorrah and towards the all the land of the plain, and beheld. And lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. Right. That, 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 that's exactly what's going to happen to America. The smoke is going to be going up. 
right? It's not just gonna, it's not just gonna be destroyed in smoke. It's gonna go for a week. No, it's gonna be going up for many years. All right? Good, Joel 2 and 10, the earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. That's it. All right? So that's what we're moving to. That's what the Lord is setting up, man. That's what the Lord is setting up. Okay? And these people, our people, Jake, they're not, they're not getting with the program, man. And if you don't get with the program, then guess what? The Lord is going to delete you, man. All right? That's point blank. So, period. Give me, give, me, give me Isaiah 6 and 9. What you got? Uh, this is real quick. This is Revelation 15 and verse 2. And I saw as it were, it's not like it. and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten victory, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, right. stand on the sea of glass, having the hearts of the most high. Well, that's the spirit, though. I was about to go into something to tie into that. But that's it, right? Because in order for you to overcome, you're going to have to not take the mark. But you jakes that are not with the Lord, guess what? The spirit is not going to be on you to reject the mark. All right? It's going to get so detrimental. It's spooky out here. It's, you know, that you jakes are going to do what you got to do. All right? I got kids to, to feed. Yeah. What? It's if they didn't eat them already. <laughs> what? It's the book of Revelation 14 and verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the, sh the same shall drink. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture. Right. Right, spread out a bit, spread out a bit, go down a bit, yeah. Yeah. Which is poured yeah. out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Right, right, the cup of it, they go down one step. All right, Con. All right, Con. So, uh, be, uh, you don't want to be like a city duck in one beer, you don't want to come up here all together, you know? <laughs> <laughs> one punch is three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Go ahead, man. Right, Dominoes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Read that again. Read it again. Yeah. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image right. and receive his mark in his forehead. What's that mark speaking about? RFID. All right, the RFID chip, they're about to offer this. All right, and eventually they're going to make it mandatory. All right, go ahead. Or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, okay. which is poured out without mixture right. into the cup of his indignation. That's it. All right, so if you take that mic, you're done. All right, so if you Jake's ain't getting right for the Lord, then what's gonna be a stability for you not to take that mic? Get me um, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay, go ahead. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. That's speaking about what? Luke and All right? So, oh, so that's showing you that those are nothing but a fire and brimstone, you know, it, 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 you know, putting a vessel. You know, that's cause that's not but fire and brimstone the Lord put in the actual middle vessel. Okay? Go ahead. Oh, there's more. Go ahead. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone right. in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Meaning Yahweh Shah is going to be watching. All right? We're going to be in the chariots. Man. We don't know if there's going to be snacks. We don't know. Okay. <laughs> Music. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. Okay, well, we're going to watch the torment, the destruction, man, the reward of the wicked. This is Isaiah 26 and verse 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. All right, so the indignation be overpassed, man. Okay? You see? So we're going to be up there until the indignation overpassed. But we don't know, because guess what? The time in the heavens is different than the time here. So we don't know, right? We might come, you know, come down after a couple of years, you know, but they're not going to pretend. They might try to go, you know, we build. Yeah, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to see, man. And that's what we're going to really have fun. Come down here looking for the elite. You know, but it's going to take off, you know? Go that way, next book, take off, and go that way. You know, it's you know? I'll meet you in Jerusalem, huh? You know? <laughs> You know, in South America, I'll be you. You know? You know, we give the salute, you know? While we're in the air, though, we give the salute. Don't float, though, you know? 
strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen. No, he's going to need a medical aid, bro, to put a decree. No, no one should give him medical aid. Man. Fucking out. Ain't nobody going to give no, no. The heathen are going to have, have hatred for these devils, man. Especially in that time, they're going to be mad, bro. All right? They're going to be very angry. You see, we're going to give, we're going to have uh, Hamites be taskmasters over them. 
You see? And we're going to sell them to the Satanists. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people. Thou hast made me the head of the heathen. All right. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Ooh, they're going to what? Serve me. Serve us, the Israelites, man. Go ahead. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. They shall obey. We're not going to have to tell them nothing, man. We're not going to have to say, oh, you got to listen to me. We're going to we're gonna say, listen, we need this and this. That's it. Go get this and that. That's all they're going to say. Go ahead. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. Right. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. All right? That's it. Go ahead. This is uh, Psalms. It's like Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with the rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall he be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. That's it. All right? Well, you all get the, get the time, get the Revelation one. Right? The Lord, the Lord is gonna get that, he's gonna get the heathen for his inheritance. Alright? Oh, that was it. Oh, Salak, so Salak, so read it again. This is the book of Revelation 2 and verse 27. 26, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Right. And he shall rule them with the rod of iron. As the vessel of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have, even as I have received of my father. Right, that's it. So they shall be broken to shivers, man. Even as I received as my father. Watch out, watch out. Right. Even as I received of my father's, man. See, my father. All right. So what did he receive? He received the even for inheritance. That's going to be part of our inheritance, including the land. All right. What? Right. Revelation six and fourteen. Right. And the heaven departed as a school when it when it like it, when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. And the kings of the earth, and the great man, and the rich man, and the chief, chief captains, and the mighty man, and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Ah, they go hide, they go be hiding, man. You see that? No matter of fact, bro. Yo. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 14. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, No, no, chapter 6 and 15. Oh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 6, and verse 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and islands were moved out of their places. So that speaks about the nuclear missiles. When they hit, the mushroom cloud is gonna roll like a like a like a scroll. You know, because they, they, they didn't have the, the the understanding, so they explained it the way they saw it, you know, how they understood it. Verse 15, and the kings of the earth and the great men, the rich men, and the chief captain, and the mighty men, and every god man, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains, and rocks fall on us, and, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. You see, they were trying to hide from you out shy, you know? And again, it tells us that how, how the brother explained it, we're gonna be turned into hunters, man. It's gonna be like a little game of hide and seek, but for us it's gonna be so much better because we're gonna have spiritual powers, man. You see? You know? And from the wrath of the Lamb. Well, says to, the, to the mountains and the rocks, they're, they're really gonna have uh, uh, bunkers where they're gonna hide. Because right? they're building bunkers, it says that the selling of bunkers is, uh, is uh, you know, off the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Off the charts, off the charts man, you know? Constantly buying bunkers, you know? Yeah. Uh, and that, that's true because uh, ultimately the, the elites know that their kingdom is on its way out. So ultimately they're trying to prepare themselves uh, uh, for the worst, uh, worst case scenarios. You know? Uh, you finish? Uh, uh, verse 17. For the great day of his wrath is come. And who shall be able to stand? No one, man. At that time, especially when we're going to have that spiritual powers, man. 
No one's gonna be able to to to, to, to stand against us, man. All they're gonna have is is is, uh, is the hide until we chain them up and bring them in front of Yahweh Shai, and he's gonna tell us either kill them or put them in, into into slavery, man. Right. You no, know? you know, that one looks like a, a strong worker. Keep it for the field. You see? If anyone got something, go ahead. This is Micah. This is Micah five and verse eight. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles and in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if we go through, both tread it down and tear it to pieces, and none can deliver. Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thy enemies shall be cut off. See? So that's, that, uh, that's going to be a, a, a paradigm shift, a reversal of roles. You see how now the Israelites are a prey unto the heathens. But then there's going to be a time where we're going to be the lions. Where, we're gonna, where, where the heathens are going to be our prey, man. See? Anyone got something? Michael 4 and verse 13. Arise and thrust, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thy horn iron, and I will make thy hoofs brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. See? These other nations will have to, to be uh, put into subjection uh, unto the Israelites. You see? And it's, and it's ultimately going to be the, the, the easy way or the hard way. But it's still going to go the way of the Israelites. You see? It's not going to be a, a... There's not going to be no politics in that time, huh? Right. It's going to be the Israelite way under Yahweh Shai. Right. You see? So whatever we... It's going to be a heavy dictatorship. That's it. That's it. Lord, this, is, uh, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. And who are the saints? It's the Israelites, man. It's going to be given unto us. Right. Ultimately, how it says uh, the, the Lord uh, ruleth over, uh, over every kingdom and he giveth it to whosoever he will. Right. So in the time when, when Yahweh Shai comes back, we're going to establish righteousness back on the earth and he's going to give it unto us. It says, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him. See? And, and what differentiates the Israelite uh, the kingdom to come versus the, the, the kingdom of the heathen is that we're going to be uh, transformed. The law, statutes, and commandments is going to be uh, in us. It's going to be in our inner parts. That's right. So we won't be able to sin. And, and ultimately, it's the wisdom that establishes the kingdom. So the fact that we're never going to go off is the reason why that we will have an everlasting kingdom. Yeah. So this is Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 24. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and will give you a heart of flesh. So that, that goes into how the Lord is going to take us, and take away our corruptible body, and, and give us an immortal, immortal body. That's going to be able to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to this fullest extent. See, the same way that Yahweh Shai is going to come back, we're going to be transformed like unto his body. See? This is uh, 1 John, the book of 1 John, chapter 3, and verse 1, and it reads, Verse 2, Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Point blank, period. Right. Well, from that period, it says it, you know, we're going to be transformed, uh, and the way that he is, we're going to be the same way, you see? This is uh, Hebrews 8 and 6, it says, but now hath he have have obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should have no place have been sought for the second, for finding... Yeah. So the, the first one was faultless because we're in this flesh. We're not able to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. 
to, to its full extent. So that's why we needed Yahweh Shai to, 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 to establish a new contract. You see? And the contract and the first contract was only made with the Israelites. See the the, the other na the, the other nations have no part in the blessing of Yah 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 Allah. That's right. You see? That's right. This is uh verse eight. It says, For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continued not in my covenant and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the, the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people and they shall and that's beautiful because you know that the Lord is not a power of confusion he told us straight up with whom the contract is to be with it's for, with the Israelites right so I don't know how these other nations uh, put up the, the, the uh, Babylonian sauce right and uh, try to tell that now the king uh, now that Yahushua died on the cross is for everyone right that's lies, man. That's right. All right. It says, um, for this is the covenant that will, okay, let me go back down. It says, um, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. And that he, and that he said, a new covenant he hath made the first old. Now that which it is the which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. Right? About that? Yeah, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, and verse 1. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills right. and all nations shall flow onto all it. All nations. It said what? This is who we saw with Jerusalem, right? Read that again. The God. vision that he saw for who? The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. So the Israelites. It has nothing to do with these other nations. Okay, it's only for our people, the Israelites, all right? Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house, the shall, government of the Lord, go ahead, which is the Israelites, go ahead, shall be established in the top of the mountain. We're going to be on over all these other nations, go ahead, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow onto it. Yeah, that's it. So keep on. And many people shall come and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, and to the house of the power of Jacob. Right. And he will teach us of his ways. So they're going to want to learn the ways of the Lord and they're going to have to come to us. We're going to be the priests of the most high power. All right. Say so a nation of kings and priests. Get me that. All right. You see that? You jump in when the spirit hits you. Man. Go ahead. Come. And we, and he will teach us of his ways. Yep. And we will walk in his path. Right. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. And the word of Yah of the Lord power, Yahweh, from Jerusalem. So the law is never going to be done away with. In the kingdom, we're, they're going to be exercising the law. We're going to be exercising the law. We're going to be doing the law. It's going to be in us. All right? There's more? Uh, verse 4. Go ahead. And he shall judge among the nations. Right. And shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Right. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, right. neither shall they learn war anymore. That's it. That's exactly it, man. What, what? This is the book of Numbers, chapter 24, 24 and verse 17. I shall, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. What's that star? What's the star that's coming out of Jacob? I'm what? What's that star that's coming out of Jacob? Yeah, Jesus? I was shy. All right, perfect. Go ahead. Yeah. It says, And the scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Shem. And Edom shall be a possession, Seir also shall be a possession, for his, 
for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiant. But well, what's that speaking about? Eat himself. What's that speaking about? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna possess them. What's that mean? Eat himself, your possession. What? We're gonna own that land. That land. That land. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to this. It says, "That's the end of the land." It says, um, out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and right. shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. Right. That's it. All right, so we're going to possess that land. Now we're going to possess those people. All right? They, they're all going to be a possession. All right? You got some behind God, real quick. Uh, this is uh, Numbers 23, verse 9. For from the top of the rocks I see him. Uh, verse 8. How shall I curse whom the Most High hath not cursed? Or how shall I defy whom the Most High hath not defiled? Right. For, for from the top of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I behold him. Lo, the people shall dwell alone, and none shall be reckoned among the nations. Ooh, you shall dwell alone. Hold on. The scriptures in Daniel says uh, the kingdom shall not be left to other people. You see? So that's not a joint coalition, man. All right? It's only the Israelites on top and the other nations. They're just going to have to learn the righteousness, man. All right? Even the Edomites are going to be keeping the law. They're not going to have a choice. They're not going to be able to eat rats in the kingdom. Go ahead. And shall not be reckoned among the nations. Right. Who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous and let my last end be like his. Right. Let my last end be like his, man. Let me die the death of the righteous. Let my last end be like who? Like the Israelites. Go ahead. Uh, verse 11 And Balak said unto Balaam What hast thou done unto me? I took thee to curse my enemies And behold, thou hast blessed them all together huh? And he answered and said Must I not take ye to speak that Which the Lord hath put in my mouth? Right. And Balak said unto him Come So they can't, so Esau can't curse us, man yeah. Right, we're blessed to the Heavenly Father man. We are those people we are the sons of God. There's nothing he can do. The Lord has it set up already in prophecy that we're going to rule. You know, it's already a cheek. It's already done. There's nothing Esau can do. Go ahead, keep going. And, and Bala said unto him, Come, I pray thee, with, uh, with me unto another place. Yep. And once thou mayest see them, that, that thou see but the uttermost part of them, and shall not see them, them all, and curse them, and curse be them from thence. And he brought him into the field of to the top of Pisca and built seven altars and offered a bullock and a ram upon every altar. Right. And he said unto Balak, Stand here by the burnt offering while I meet the Lord wonder. And the Lord met Balaam and put a word in his mouth and said, Go again unto Balak and say thus. And when he came to him, behold, he stood by, by his burnt offering. Right. And the prince of Moab with him. And Balak said unto him, what had the Lord spoken? And he took up his parable and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear, hearken unto me, thou son of Zippor. The Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. In other words, what he's about to say, he ain't taking it back. Go ahead. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Right. Go ahead. Behold, I have received Commandment, commandment to bless, and ye have blessed, and I cannot reserve it. Right. Ye have not be, uh, beheld iniquity in Jacob, neither have ye seen the per perverseness in Israel. The Lord and his power. Right. Is when, it, when, when is, when is uh, are we not going to be perverse? When is Jacob not going to be perverse? That's when uh, when he puts that new heart, right? The new bodies, the new heart, all of that. You see, we're never going to go off. We're never going to break the law ever again. You see that? Go ahead. The Lord is power is with them, and the shout of, of a king is among them. The Mosiah brought them out of Egypt. He he had as as uh, he had as it were the strength of a unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. Right. According to this time, it didn't say there's no enchantment against Moab. Moab. You can curse Moab. You can put a curse on Moab. You can put a curse on Edom. The Lord already cursed him. Right? But you cannot put a curse on Jacob, man. Go ahead. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What hath the Most High brought? 
Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion and lift up himself as a young lion. He shall not lie down until until he eat. Hold on, the, give, me, give me a second. Hold that, hold that thought. Go ahead. Okay. Genesis 27 and 29. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Right. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that curses thee. Ooh, and so what? anyone that curses us, right, they're cursed. Anyone that speaks against us even in their mind, they just curse themselves, man. Even of the of Jake, even if they were Jake's, spiritually they're heathen. You see what I'm saying to you? Go ahead. And blessed be he that blessed thee. Right, so if they, if they give a blessing, there's a guy that came by and said, God bless us, okay, you too. All right? That could be a, but he might get a sandwich, in, 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 you know, out of nowhere. Right, in the family, right? Oh, shit, I got a sandwich. That might have just been because of that. You see what I'm saying to you? There's more? Go ahead, keep going. Uh, Numbers 23 and verse 24, Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion, right. and lift up himself as a young lion. He shall not lie down until he eat of the prey, and drink the blood of the slain. And Balak said unto Balaam, Neither curse, and Balaam is out, and Balak said unto Balaam, Neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. Right, so these heathen nations, they can't curse us, man. They can only bless. And if they curse us, they can just curse unto them. All right, go ahead. Uh, verse 26, But Balaam answered and said unto Balak, But the so thing is, we can curse them. We could put a curse on them, right? Because even in the kingdom, if they don't obey, you know, and do the laws that, you know, do what we tell them to do, guess what? No no rain is going to come upon them, right? We can stop the rain from coming, right? That's the kind of power we're going to have. That's how close we're going to be with Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. It says that the Lord is acting, the Heavenly Father is actually going to be in the, amongst us. You think that's a light thing? That's not a light thing. That's very, very heavy, man. Go ahead. Verse 26, but Balaam answered and said unto Balaam, Told not I thee, saying, All that the Lord speaketh, that I must do. And Balak said unto Balaam, Come, I pray thee, and I will bring thee unto another place. For adventure, it will please the Most High that thou mayest curse me them from thence. And Balak brought Balaam unto the top of Peor. So he's trying hard. He's putting all his effort. He's jumping from mountain to mountain, trying to curse Jake. But he can't. Go ahead. And look at the word. Uh, uh, and Balaam said unto Balaam, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven bullocks and seven rams. And Balaam did. Yeah, he's wasting all his flock. There's seven bullocks here, 20 rams there. His wife is getting nervous. No. All right? He's trying to do all he can to curse Jake. See, that's how they even feel. Go ahead. And Balaam did as Balaam had said, and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. What else? Keep going. Uh, uh, this is Numbers 24 and verse 1. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Most High to bless Israel, he went not, as the as at other time, to seek for enchantments, but he set his face towards the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tents, according to the tribes, and the spirit of the Most High came upon him. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, had said, and the man whose whose eyes are open had said, he had said, which heard the words of the Mosai, yeah. which saw the vision of the Almighty, right. falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. How gladly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel. This is, this is what I want. You see, this is not a short thing. As I said, brother, it could never be enough. That can't be it. This is long, brother. They, he really put all his effort in to try to put a curse, and the Lord put all his, to show him the blessing. And really all he was doing was blessing, he kept blessing us. Go ahead. Verse 6, as the valleys are they spread forth as gardens by the riverside. That's side. what I said, even if a chick, let's say a chick is trying to do something, you don't really got to worry because if that happens, I tell, like I tell these chicks all the time, one chick said, hey, I'm a sorcerer. He said you were joking, right? I said, well, if you are, that's just going to hit you four times. What if you try to do You just got to look at you good. Yeah, but, yeah, you better, better consult with your demons, man. Why don't we need it? See what the demons got to say. You know what I'm saying? See what the demons, see what the demons got to say. Yeah. Nah, 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 don't, 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 don
as the trees of, of lime aloes, which the Lord hath planted, and I set a trees beside the waters. He shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. The Most High brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath as a word the strength of a unicorn. He shall eat up the nations as enemies. Hold as on, hold that. Give me the sheep. Hold, yeah. Give me that. Micah 5 and 7. Right. Yeah, and 8. Select it. Micah 5 and 8. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among as a lion among the beasts of the forest. They're not gonna have any power over us. We're gonna have the power. Alright? When you put a lion among sheep, what's gonna happen? They're gonna devour the sheep, right? So when the Lord gives that power, give me that day of that power. Give me oh spot. Give me that day of that power. Alright? That's when they're gonna know. See now it is the oh, whatever. Well, well that's why Michael 7 and 10 is written. The big I told you so is coming. Right? Got it? Yeah, this is up Psalms 110 and 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. See, when they see the power, that's when they're going to, they're going to, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. You know what I'm saying? That's when they're going to uh, lock things down, man. That's when they're going to they're start to try to be serious, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. As, as, a, as a young lion among the flock of sheep, who, if he go through, both threading down and tear it in pieces, and none can deliver. None can deliver, man. Right? That's the power that we're going to get, man. And there's nothing that they can do about that. You see? Esau, that's what the elites are nervous about. The average feeder might, you know, they hear it, they get nervous, they get scared. But the elites are really like, yo, we got we to gotta stop this. That's their mind. We have to put an end to this. Stuff. You know what I'm saying? You see the chariots? You know? You got this, these Edomites are so proud. They got their, 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 their military jet shooting at them. Something that they don't even understand. Let's show you how retarded this is. How can you put the, how can a person like that have control over your food and the earth? Now someone that's simple minded, stupid as that. You don't even know the power of what that is, but you're so proud that you're gonna shoot at it. But they can't affect the chariots anyway. That's a, that's a spiritual power. All right, go ahead. Psalms 41 and verse five. Yeah. Mine enemies speak evil of me. Right. When shall he die and his name perish? Right. If he come to see me, he speaketh vanity. His heart gathereth iniquity to itself. When he goeth abroad, he telleth it. All that hate me whisper together against me. Right. Against me do they devise my hurt. Right, and guess what? And all those people who do that against us, the Israelites, they're gonna be cursed. Alright? Because Esau's about to be cursed right now. Alright? And he's gonna be cursed even more. Alright? See, the Lord is gonna get me through around 30 and 7, man. The Lord is gonna put our enemies to rest, man. Okay? And I'm not talking about singing them a lullaby either, man. They're gonna put them in hardcore, we're gonna put them in hardcore slavery, man. Alright, go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, and verse 7. Right? And it reads, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Right, and that, that hate thee, which is who all these hate thee. That's why Balak was, uh, was Balak was trying to curse this man. You understand? Because what? He was nervous. He was scared. All right? And that's that hatred. All right? Good. Romans 8 and 31. What shall we then say to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? That's it. No one can be against us, man. He said no weapon is formed against me shall prosper, man. See, when Esau starts making his move, the Lord is going to make his move, man. He's going to make it known that he's dealing with us, all right? So it's not going to be a mystery in that day. They're going to understand that the power of the Lord is with us, man. All right? It's not no play thing. All right, Jesus loves. No, this is Yahweh Hashim El Shai is going to start really bringing in death, man. You see, there's going to be certain people where there's going to be like a, a spiritual orb around where really nothing is touching them, man. What you got, bro? Second Ezra 16 and 70. But there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And they're going to start coming down. They're going to start coming after us, man. You see that? Go ahead. They shall be like mad men, 
sparing none. Right. But See, still, so all those people who are not really with the truth, but if they might have listened or whatever, guess what? They're going to come for them too. And they're not going to spare any. Go ahead. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. That's it. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Right. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried. And, that, and, that's, and, this, and the Lord's going to make it known who are his chosen. When that time is around, he's going to make it known that we are the chosen man. All right? Well, will we be of that number of the elect? Go ahead. Psalms 105 and, and, and 14. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yeah? He reproved kings for their sakes. Right. Saying, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. That's it. All right? So he reproved kings. What about these little peons trying to run up? You know? Said that fire shall proceed out of their mouth, man. You see? And consume them. You understand? So they, they can, there's nothing they can do. All right? Go ahead. Uh, first, second Corinthians 13 and 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. That's right. And they can't do anything against the truth. They can only do something for the truth, man. That's why Vocab thinks he's winning. But he's taking L's all over the place. He's taking L's all over the place. Okay? What else going to lose that? Got, bro. This is Zechariah 9 and 13. When I have bent Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim, and raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O yeah. Greece, yeah. and made thee. Uh oh, else. raised up thy sons. I haven't heard that one in a while. When raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece. That's the Jake versus Esau right there. So the Lord is going to actually raise up the Israelites to come after these Edomites. All right? Also, these um, these two third Jakes are going to get busy too. Give me up Isaiah the 19th chapter real quick. Isaiah 19 and 17. Well, you can finish that one out first. Right, right. Yeah. This is uh, the latter part of Zechariah 9 and 13. And it raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece. Right. And made thee as a sword of a mighty man. Right. So the Lord is going to use us on the right hand side as that, 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 uh, that weapon. All right. Well, this is Isaiah 19 and 17. And the land of Judah shall be a terror. Unto Egypt, right? Everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid of himself. You know, the land of Judah, man. Talk about the tribe, the tribe of Judah. And I would, I would have ventured to say the kingdom of Judah. All right, because they're, 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 they're going to be in unison. You know what I'm saying? You see? So ultimately, they're going to do what? They're going to be the terror teacher. Right? When all hell breaks loose, what do you think Jake is going to stay in the, in, the, in the projects? No, Jake is going to move to the Edomite neighborhood, right? Right? When the food gets low, you're going to see. Okay? And then it's, we're getting to a point now where the police are not going to be answering certain things. Now a lot of police are answering things. Uh, where is it? Where they're not even answering uh, great... It's Michigan. Uh, huh? Michigan. It's Michigan. They're not even answering uh, great calls or something like that. LA. Where are the places? In our places. Yeah, in America, bro. Yeah. I thought that was the, the great U.S. of A, man. All right? Yeah. But it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Soon they're not going to answer murder calls. You know, they're going to call it's going to be busy. <laughs> because they're at home trying to save their family. Yeah, leave a message. Yeah, leave a message, man. Okay? Yeah, call call. Call something else. They're going to give you another number to call. Oh, man. <laughs> no, if it's an extreme emergency, call this. But why not call 911? Because it's an extreme emergency, right? Yeah. But I'm just saying, man, ultimately, <laughs> yeah. yo, these people, it, it, it's done. That whole succor, that whole, I can do this, I can go to the hospital, I get a, a cut, serious gas, that's done. You don't know how to patch up a serious cut, well, guess what? You'll just bleed out and die. That's the time we're coming to, man. Go ahead. Yes, sir? Genesis Re 4. Finish on that? It reads on. Everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid of himself right. because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, right. which he hath determined against him. That's it. Go ahead. Genesis 49, verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Mm -hmm. Thine hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy. Judah, right? The so-called Negroes, man. All right? Judah, that's specifically the so-called African-Americans. That's the tribe of Judah. All right? Their hands are going to be in the neck of their enemies. Meaning what? Who's their enemies? The Edomites first and foremost. Right? So they're going to get the upper hand, man. All right? Go ahead. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Who's the prey? These other nations. Go ahead. He stooped down. And count as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? Right, and he's about, he's about to be roused up, man. The Lord's going to put something in their spirit where they're going to get roused up. 
It's not going to be like a, the march and we shall overcome all that nonsense. Jake is really going to get around to it. Right? He's going to get back into that whole spirit. What you got? Book of Psalms, chapter 18, verse 37. Right? I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Right. Neither did I turn again till they were pursued. Right. You see how Jake rides on other Israelites? Because Jake likes to ride on other Israelites. You know? They're, they're riding on their own people. You see that? But when it comes to Esau, it's all, it's all good. You see? The Lord's going to change that spirit. The Lord's going to change the spirit up. He's going to ride on his true enemies, man. Go ahead. Verse 38. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. Right. They are fallen under my feet. Right. <laughs> right. And ultimately, who's going to take these, these devils down? Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Okay? He's going to completely destroy his system and set up a righteous kingdom. Right? Matter of fact, give me 2 Peter 3 and 13 real quick. What you got? Isaiah 19 and 17. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. All right, we just read that. Okay, so, okay. All right, so this, well, matter of fact, just give us a... Uh, uh, verse, uh, verse, uh, verse, four. Verse, four. Okay, verse 4 and the Egyptians will give over the land uh, Isaiah 19 and 4 and the Egyptians will I give over unto the hands of the cruel Lord and a fierce king shall rule over them said the Lord of, said the Lord the Lord of hosts that's it. All right. That's Yahweh Shai. He's coming to take over. Go ahead. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 13. Yes, Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth. Right. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's what we're looking for, man. See, Jake is not looking for that. Jake is looking to see this continue. He's looking to, to get back to, 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 to uh, jump up with different things, you know, for uh, carnival, caravana. That's what Jake wants to come back to. All right? But this place is done, man. The Lord is going to put an end to this madness. They shall not drink wine with a song. Genesis 49 and 19. Gath, the truth shall overcome him. Right. But he shall overcome at last. Right. That's one of the tribes of Israel, right? So-called Native Americans, right? They're going to overcome these Edomites in the last. Just like all the tribes, man. That's right. And that's going to be headed by Judah, all right? The so-called Negroes, the African Americans. All right? That's the tribe of Judah. So you guys, see, you Jake's got to know who you are, man. Right. right? Jake called yourself all different type of names. That's because you were, you were taken over. And your enemy deceived you. Told you were all this type of different things, man. Colored and, and, and this and, and afro and all the kind of complications, man. You're Israelites, man. That's right. Go ahead. They call yourself Haitians in Jamaica. Don't you know Haiti means hell? Since San Francisco, long fell. Why the hell would you call yourself law fell? I'm the people of hell. And you wonder why uh, an earthquake hit you, man? You wonder why you're in the condition you're in? I have a Buddhist curse. I'm not going to try to practice my Levi. I'm not going to this is my Haitian. Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner ahead, and asks his master's crib. Yeah. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. Jake doesn't even consider that they're those people, man. You know? They, uh, they, they act like that's a downgrade. No, that's an upgrade. Yeah. Stupid. All right? That's why he said my people are solid children, man. Okay? Call yourself things that don't even, that doesn't even make sense. What you got, bro? Uh, the Gen uh, Genesis 49 and 10, the, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, right. nor the lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come. Who Shiloh? Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Right. Go ahead. Jeremiah 50 and verse 6, my people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from the Talking. They have gone from mountain to hill. Right. They have forgotten their resting place. They have forgotten their resting place, which is the Lord, which is Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You see that? They think that they're, 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 they're all kind of different things, man. Um, the original man. And it's all confusion when you do with Jesus. You know? Go ahead. This is a Jeremiah 8 and 7. You need the story. They do with them rascals. I and I and I and I and I. What, what, what is I? What does it mean? You know? 
Now they are Ethiopian. First of all, you didn't come from Ethiopia, right? All right. And the first of all, they try to tie Jerusalem. Jerusalem and Ethiopia have nothing to do with each other. But from Jerusalem and the, and the, and the Isles of Ethiopia, right? stop smoking weed, man. <laughs> this is a message. Stop smoking ganja. Right? It's frying your brain, man. Right? <laughs> Those are some of the most important scriptures on earth, right? What? This is uh, this is the book of. Jeremiah chapter Amen. eight skirt. and this seven. It's gotta be burnt with. You. See, I hope I hope the Lord has a few missiles reserved for candidates. Likewise, Bible push up. Bible push up. This place is is filthy, man. You see, you see the man with a skirt on, and that's just normal. These people, no one isn't looking at him funny. It's a regular day, you know. A woman with a beard. That's it, too. And you don't even know if it's a woman or a man or a man or a woman that changed a woman. It's, it's too much. It's just too much. They don't. They declare their sin as Sodom. They're not, they're not even ashamed of this thing. Go ahead, bro. Um, I mean, shoot. This is Jeremiah 8 and 7. Yea, the stork in the heaven, right. the horse were appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. Mm. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. Right, they don't even understand the judgment of the Lord, man. When we tell them, they get offended. Because they don't understand it, man. They don't understand the Lord. But the Lord said, no more in your riches, no more in your strength, glory in that get me. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9 and 23. Thus says Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Right. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, for that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness. That's what you're supposed to do, in, that you understand the Lord, understand his judgment. Jake doesn't understand it, so they have nothing but glory, they have nothing but shame. All right, go ahead. Which, which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. Right. For in these things I delight. See, the things that we're showing, what things that we're seeing is all righteousness. Right. This earth is all backwards, it's all wickedness that they push. Injustice, wickedness, man. We're, push, we're showing you righteousness, how it's supposed to be, man. And if it was this way, you wouldn't even have these problems, man. You see? But that's why the Lord is going to completely destroy this place and set up a righteous kingdom, man. And right. he's not going to ask you. He's not going to send a boat down, you know, a dove comes out of here, you know, and an eight or an angel. Like, would you like to vote for uh, the rulership of Yahweh Shai? Is any opposed? Right. Okay, go ahead. What you got, bro? Uh, Daniel 7, verse uh, 27, and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints. Oh, the saints are taking care of me that one too. Yeah, oh, that? Okay. okay. Uh, verse 18. But the saints of the most but high. But who's going to give it? The Lord is going to give it. That's right. Go ahead. But uh, Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. Right. Because the Lord is going to give it to us. Okay. And we're going to take it. All right. Go ahead. And possess the kingdom. Forever, even forever and ever. Point blank period. What you got, bro? This is the last scripture. Go ahead. Ecclesiasticus 10. Hold on, hold on. Finish that up. Verse 27, back to 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Right. That's that's our people, man. The Israelites. Because this kingdom is going to be translated from these Edomites ruling to us ruling. Right. Right. All right. And we're going to we're going to put that saint, that vengeance on them. And that's going to be through the power of the Lord. All right. That's Go right. Ahead. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And it's going to be everlasting. That's the difference. Their kingdom is, is almost done. We can see it's falling now. Right. The economy's crashing. Yeah. Right. Then it's just, there's no family structure now. Family's done. Now family is two mommies and two daddies. That's and maybe and thinking of a third one. <laughs> and you're thinking of a third one. It's madness. Okay? The kid doesn't even understand sex yet, and you're teaching him about alternatives to sex. So we were watching the thing. That's the, that's the society. How does that profit? How does that benefit? Where is the benefit? What, how is this a better alternative? You see, they don't think about it. Ah, because I said so. That's how Esau operates, because I said so. Go ahead. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion. <laughs> and if you don't accept it, you're some kind of demon. You're some anti-something, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. anti-something. Anti-something, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Whose kingdom 
is an everlasting kingdom. Right. And all dominions shall serve right. and obey him. And they're gonna have to obey. They don't, they're not gonna have a choice. It's not gonna be a democracy you put in the vote. Okay, I vote for your house. I vote for Satan. Oh. No, it's gonna be. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be straight. Oh. A, 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 it's gonna be a dictatorship, but a righteous oh, dictatorship. Yeah. Man. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got some good. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Saint Luke chapter twelve and verse thirty-two. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure right. to give you the kingdom. Right. Sure. It's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man, because we are the sons of God. Point blank, period, man. All right. Sit on that. What you got, bro? Ecclesiastes uh, 10 and verse 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. One that is proper, one that's gonna bring the, make the earth flourish. Because right now the earth is dying under this rulership. That's why there needs to be a new ruler. There needs to be new management. You Edomites have done a terrible job. That's just that's it. Okay? The Lord has checked the work. You see, this is madness. Alright? So he's gonna take you out of. What happens when a manager is not doing his job? Yeah. You notice you hired him and the sales are, are matter of fact, they're spending money. Yeah. They're not yeah. even making money, not only spending money. They're, they're, they're like, you know, 50% in the, in the red. Bankrupt, 75% 75 in the red. Wow. You find out he's, he's uh, giving away free products, yeah. right? Yeah. He's eating some of the products at home. What are you gonna do? They're gonna get rid of that guy. And matter of fact, they're gonna put in a notice that this, don't hire this man. Alright? So that's what's gonna happen to you, Edomites, man. Get me, get me revelations. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Revelation 11 and verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged. Right. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, right. and to the saints. Yep. And them that fear thy name. But hold on, the saints only deals with the Israelites. So where's the heathen getting the reward? The Gentiles that are spoken about in the New Testament is speaking about the Israelites that lost their way. It never speaks about the Gentiles getting no reward, uh, the heathen getting no reward, and Moab. No, the saints is dealing with the Israelites. Go ahead, read that again. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, right. and to the saints, right. and right. them that fear thy name, small and great, That's it. and shouldest destroy them would destroy the earth. And the ones that destroy the earth are these Edomites. He's not going to come and blame the heathen. He's going to come and blame you Edomites because you're in the rulership. Who created plastic, which is not biodegradable? These Edomites, bro. An old Edomite or a young, or whatever, a middle-aged Edomite. Okay? The, word Chi the Chi Chinese man, they create the, the, the plastic. It's a so-called white man who created this. And it's, it's terrible for the earth. And everything else they create, bro, pretty much. All right? They, 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 they okay for these big corporations to pour chemicals into the, the water, the lakes, right? Like uh, the DuPont family, right? Those are Edomites, bro. Those are the, the, the wicked, okay? And what does that do? Now, everybody in the earth has a trace of that chemical in their blood. That is heavy destruction. And then you wonder why you're going to be put into slavery because you, that's where you belong, man. Right. Yeah. You don't yeah. belong in no place of power. You had power long enough and you messed it up, man. Oh, let favor be shown to the wicked. Let will he not learn understand righteousness, man. Go ahead, bro. There's more? Go ahead, man. Jeremiah 51, verse 25. Believe it, man. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountains, saith right. the Lord, which destroyed all the earth. I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and I will roll thee down from the rocks, right. and I will make thee a burnt mountain. So he's going to make you a burnt mountain. He's going to destroy you, man. Because you've done nothing for wickedness, man. So the earth has to be cleansed too, and that fire is going to cleanse the earth as well. Sir. Okay? All that filth, man. Sir, there's certain places I, I want to put a petition in to have the, uh, to have the missiles hit too, man. All right? Because it's filthy, man. You see? This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter eleven, and verse forty-four. The high, the highest also have looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, and his abominations are fulfilled. Right, all right. The abominations is fulfilled. Man. We're at the end of this thing, man. Okay, he's done enough. He's destroyed the earth, and now the Lord is coming to reclaim his earth. Well, with what? Yahweh Shai, right. giving it to Yahweh Shai ultimately. That's right. All right. Go ahead. 
more. Uh, this is uh, Nehum 3 and 19. There is no healing of thy bruise. Thy wound is grievous. All that hear the brood of thee shall clap their hands over thee. For upon whom hath not thy wickedness passed continually? Yeah, Isaiah 14, real quick. Go ahead. Yeah. For upon whom hath not thy wickedness passed continually? Right. Everyone has drunk of that wine. Right. Has drunk of his madness. Of his philosophies, man. You see? And it is to prove that America is in the spirit of Rome. As soon as them people, they might follow some part of their tradition. As soon as they're, they're told, especially these women, as soon as they're told, touch the soils of America. He turned into harlots and demons. <laughs> Before they were cleaning the house, so they touched Why don't you clean? You know, all these type of things happen, right? Just start asking why. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, that card of the spirit. Go ahead. Uh, Re Revelation 19 and 11. Right. And I saw heaven open, and behold, the white horse, and he that sat on it was called faithful and true. You see how it was shot. All right. Go ahead. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make look war. Look at demons on them, man. You look at their face, man. Good. They don't even know what they're looking at. They got demons on them, man. Go ahead. <laughs> like Justin Bieber. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, God damn, bro. He's like, fuck. What's up with you? What's up with you? Go ahead. His eyes were as flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. Right. And he had... Because he's going to be taking on all these other nations. All right. Go ahead. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Right. What you got, bro? Well, Isaiah 14, verse 18. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory. Right. Every one in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch. Yep. And as the raiment of those that are slain, yep. thrust through with the sword yep. that go down to the stones of the pit, right. as the carcasses trodden under feet. Yep. That's it. All right, so all these other nations, they're going to have their lands eventually. They're going to be good, all right? They're going to learn the ways of righteousness. But these Edomites, they're going to be done away with, man. They're not going to get to have that part of that part. Okay? Verse, verse 20, thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, right. because thou hast destroyed thy land right. and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Right, and we might just name these Edomites by numbers, man. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> God. God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. God died. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The name of my numbers. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Anyways, bro. Let's just let's just close the uh let's just close it up. Alright? With that, we give all praises, glory and honor. Yeah, I'm yeah. all yeah. by Hashem, I was shy by Hashem of Aquadash. Double I see the apostle and elders of Great Millstone. So I take so much love and respect to Rocky Mountain and push this word out. The truth is sincerely shallow on. Shalom. Bom yashua. Bom yashua.